Wow, that's a screamer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Zip five, ready both sides. One, two, three. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Hello, darling. How are you? Doing good. All right. Hang on my rope. The other white one. Just hang on to it. That was it. That was it. That was number last. That was the funnest right. one, don't you think? <laughs> Pretty fun. See, so the truth is, we love stress. We even pay for it. But there's one clear distinction we have to make about this type of stress. There's a clear beginning and a clear end. We know when it's over. Yeah! Now, let's say we're caged up and we have no clue when that will stop. That's when stress is not good for us. So your autonomic nervous system has two branches. You have your parasympathetic, and then you have your sympathetic. Now, we're designed to be in this parasympathetic mode here about 99% of the time. And that looks something like this. Morning. Morning. And that puts us in a proactive state, right? So this is when stress is good for you because... So you're proactive. Here's an example of when you're being reactive. One, two, three! Go! So if you know what's coming, say a fighter jet, you can film it. Enjoy it and live it up because you know it's going to pass and then it's gone. The 1% that remains here in this sympathetic mode of the nervous system, that's for those stressful events like you saw me on the zip line in the beginning of this video. So next time you're thinking about stress, whether it's good, whether it's bad for you, just remember that you always want to go and try to accomplish this 99% because that's what you're designed for. Here's where I go when I want to do that. <laughs>